Hi, my name is Katherine Lennon. I've been a resident in the, in the 19th Ward since birth. I've been living in my home here for seven years. I'm in the community, I'm with the uh, Neighborhood Watch. I'm here as my husband passed away of lung and brain cancer. I was unable to get, um, to get, to get proper representation. They want to take my home from me. I have a, a house of 11, household of 11. I have three children and nine grandchildren. And my daughter right now is, one of my daughters is pregnant and she's in a homeless shelter right now preparing for the worst and she has a three year old son also. Okay, and my husband worked many years, many, many years. And with the mortgage, Fannie Mae, Countrywide, they have had a bailout for foreclosures, which I think is very, very, very wrongly justified. Not only me, it's a lot of people. It's not only me, it's a whole lot of people. And I do want to get my story across. And I want to, I want to fight for my home. I want to fight for what my rights are. I want to fight for what the government has done. I want to see people have homes, you know, even, you know, low income people have our homes. We're asking for fairness, a renegotiation of, of the terms of this mortgage so that Catherine and her family, including seven young children, can stay in their home of seven years. Now, mortgage companies like Countrywide got a massive public bailout. All we're asking for is, is some fairness and justice in this situation. So they're going to stay in this home, even though that they've been given um, orders for the house to be foreclosed and ordered to be evicted, um, sought for by Fannie Mae. The foreclosure was done by Countrywide and they turned it over to Fannie Mae, Federal National Mortgage Association. Fannie Mae received over $85 billion of bailout money to keep people in their homes and they're kicking people out. So we're going to take these homes back. Um, Catherine Sims is going to stay in our, the home and we're calling for the community to come out for a protest on Monday starting at noon to keep her in her home and May, the current owner of the house, to come to the table to negotiate, to immediately suspend the eviction, and to um, renegotiate the terms so um, they could have a reasonable settlement so this family of 11 can be, stay in their home. Because currently, and we're calling on anybody else in the community who's going, going through foreclosure um, that, that wants to stand up, to also stand up because we're going to try to create a movement yes. to keep people in their homes. Yes. Thank you.